Purchasing a home can be an overwhelming process, especially if it's your first time. With so many steps and so much money involved, mistakes can often be very costly. But buying your first home doesn't have to be difficult. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through what I consider to be the first step of the home buying process, saving money and preparing to buy. I'll also offer advice, especially for you first time home buyers out there. If you're a first time home buyer or you're interested in buying or selling here in the Greenville area, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You wanna be the first to know when I post part two of my first time home buyer series, turn on these post notifications to get notified. So, all right, let's get to it. Before you can start shopping for your very first home, you have to make sure you have the money to spend. So you want to start saving early. There are many costs associated with purchasing a home, especially for the first time. So today I want to break down just a few of those costs to consider. First of all, the big one, down payment. Your down payment or your cash deposit on your new home will vary depending on the cost of the home and your mortgage type. Some loans will allow for as little as 3% down, but even that is really no small sum. For example, 3% down payment on $250,000 is still $7,500. In most cases, you will have to talk to your lender before you start shopping for a home, and they will help you understand how much you need to save in order to purchase in your area. Another factor to consider is closing costs. Closing costs is a general term for all the costs that are associated with finalizing your home purchase. These typically run about two to 5% of your loan amount and sometimes can be passed along to the seller through negotiations. We'll have more on that later. Finally, home buyers should also consider move-in costs. Moving is not free and the spending doesn't stop on closing day, trust me there's always costs associated with owning a home. So it's a good idea to set a little extra cash for a fresh coat of paint, minor repairs that happen here and there, and additional furnishings. These are just a few of the costs associated with buying a home. The earlier you start saving, the better. The next thing you wanna check is your credit score. Your credit score is a huge part of the home financing process and therefore is gonna be a big part of your preparation. To keep your credit score high, pay all your bills on time, keep your current lines of credit open and don't open new lines of credit. A good credit score to shoot for is at least 720. If your credit score is not that high, don't worry right now, there are plenty of ways to help make it go up. First, you're gonna to wanna to review your financial records for any errors. If you encounter errors on your reporting, you can write to that credit bureau and dispute the errors. Second, if you have any one-time mistakes, such as a late bill payment, you might appeal to the company that registered that mistake and they could remove it. Finally, avoid errors in the future. Raising your credit score often takes time, so be patient and start well in advance of your home purchase. Once you've saved sufficiently, it's time to talk about that investment. There are a few different types of home loans, including conventional, FHA, VA, and USDA. Additionally, mortgages can typically be divided into 15-year or 30-year, depending on the monthly payment that is best for you. 15-year mortgages allow you to pay less interest, build equity faster, and pay off your loan quicker than a 30-year mortgage. However, the benefit comes with a price of a much larger monthly payment. Most home buyers, especially first-time home buyers, opt for the 30-year mortgage. This allows buyers to lower their monthly payment significantly and make your home purchase less risky altogether. The best way to determine what type of mortgage you will need and what type of home you can afford is to get in touch with a qualified financial mortgage planner quickly. In addition to helping you understand what you should be looking for in your first home, a lender can help you get pre-approved an important and necessary step in the home buying process. For you first time home buyers, a professional lender will know special programs that will help you specifically. Plus, they'll give you a few tips and tricks to make sure you get the best rate possible. I could do an entire series just on this topic alone. For now, just know that meeting with a qualified lender is a really important first step to take before beginning your home search. All right, so let's summarize all of this together. If you're looking to buy your very first home this spring, preparing in advance, specifically saving in advance, is gonna be key. Home buyers should be saving money now for costs related to closing, moving, as well as your down payment. You should also keep a close eye on your credit score and improving it as much as you can, getting it as high as possible. 
Finally, you need to meet with a trusted local lender who can help you assess your situation, your needs, and tell you exactly what you can afford. In part two of this series, we'll move past the preparation stage and talk about picking a real estate agent and home shopping tips. Don't forget to subscribe to this post so you don't miss part two.